Hello everyone, I am going to walk you through the TAN 373 Fashion Illustration and Computer Applications 2020 online syllabus. My name is Angela Bochkowski. You can reach me at abochkowski at vsu.edu. I will have office hours that I am reachable on Mondays and Wednesdays from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So I will either be on campus in my office or I will at least be near a computer so that I can answer any email questions that you have and then other times by appointment. But feel free to reach out uh, via email at any time and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. This course is going to provide an exploration of the tools and techniques used to communicate fashion. In areas such as design, branding, and merchandising, effective communication is essential. Students will learn hand-drawn techniques up to advanced computer software to develop presentation boards, promotion, and production materials. The course format will include demonstration and studio peer engagement to enhance the student learning experience through application. In addition, students will engage in the portfolio development process to create their senior portfolio. You're going to be able to identify the principles of fashion illustration, design principles, and terminology, recognize the elements of fashion design and its use to convey ideas, both visually and psychologically, analyze the importance and influence of fashion illustration and its impact on fashion design, art, merchandising, and marketing, define the psychological factors that influence the application of specific elements of fashion illustration. You're also going to develop and execute a desired skill set needed to perform and produce visually aesthetic products that pertain to industry standards. You're going to create presentation boards and original visual projects based on research vocabulary and the technical elements of fashion illustration. You're going to demonstrate knowledge adhesion through completion of fundamental core exercises, and you'll evaluate and discuss the major approaches to design creation and implementation through the application of fashion illustration techniques. You are going to be able to explain, illustrate, and convey a sense of efficient, balanced, and harmonious design techniques, identify, discuss, and apply fashion illustration to various industry contexts and situations, discuss, perform, and apply all industry-related illustration and design practices, identify multiple industry career roles pertaining to the comprehension of fashion illustration design, and relate, discuss, and give examples of illustration practices that continue to influence social communication and drive design. So this is a lecture demonstration studio class. So I'm going to basically give you some lectures, do lots of demonstrations and tutorials, and then you are going to copy what I do. You're going to make things in this class. So completion of each lesson by the student is required as demonstrated by the instructor. Participation in live demonstrations and peer critiques is expected. Grades will be given for assignments due and peer reviews. Students are to have their own supplies, especially now since we won't be meeting on campus, we can't really share supplies unless you happen to have a student uh, that's taking this class that also lives close to you, then of course you can share supplies, or maybe you know a previous student. I mean, that's fine, but you just need to get your own supplies somewhere to be able to use. All assignments must be submitted by the due date each week. Late assignments will be penalized 10 points per day and will not be accepted after the second day that it's late, no exceptions. You will present and critique group and individual assignments related to art and design. And You'll complete a final project demonstrating the application and understanding of fashion illustration and computer design concepts. The project will consist of the design and execution of a comprehensive professional digital portfolio. Portfolio will convey a comprehensive understanding of all applied elements of fashion illustration and design through original student coursework. Portfolio must follow professional industry standards and guidelines set by the instructor and will not be accepted after the deadline issued. So here's the grade breakdown. The assignments and homework section for 20%. This is going to be me um, giving you little assignments throughout, and I'm checking in on you, making sure that you're completing them, making sure that you stay on track. So 20% is a good amount for that. You're going to want to make sure that you're doing what I'm asking you and you're keeping up. This course moves very quickly. You have a lot to learn in a really short amount of time. So there will always be homework. There will always be something else that I'm asking you to do. The discussion forum is also worth 20%. That's pretty huge. So that's going to be where you're critiquing other students' work and giving them feedback, which is really essential. We learn from looking at what each other are doing. So we really need to be watching 
everybody and using that discussion forum and 20% is pretty large. Um, there's going to be two major projects that will be due towards the end of the semester and they're both worth 30%. So that's a huge portion of your grade. Basically the first part of the semester will be learning techniques and the second part of the semester we will be actually creating fashion illustration projects and they're very heavily weighted. This could make or break your grade. So you're really going to want to make sure you keep up and do well on these projects. So required supplies, these are absolutely essential. I have a video that I've posted that goes over these and shows you what each thing is in detail, but I'll go over it here as well. A nine inch by 12 inch sketchbook, all purpose spiral browned. You can also get 11 inch by 14 inch. That would also be great. I highly suggest spiral brown. It's just easier and you just want all purpose, fairly inexpensive, nothing too fancy. A nine inch by 12 inch or 11 by 14 inch tracing paper pad, a whole pack of tracing paper. You can get this at an art supply store, even Walmart, something like that. Same with the sketchbook. 9 by 12 or 11 by 14 Bristol board. This is presentation board. This you have to specifically get from an art supply store. So online or from an art store that you actually go to. I've gone over this in the video so you can see what it looks like. An 18 inch by 2 inch clear plastic drafting ruler. You may already have this from when you took clothing construction. If not, you need to go ahead and get it now. You can Google this clear plastic drafting ruler, and it's about $2 on Amazon. Uh, graphite drawing pencils and or mechanical pencils, whatever you like to draw with. It's actually a good idea to have a variety right now. You might not realize what you actually like drawing with or writing with until you're doing it as much as I'm about to make you do it. I like to use mechanical pencils and I use a 0.09 lead because I have a tendency to break leads because I press so hard. So if you're like me, there's ways to get around it. A pencil sharpener if you've got graphite drawing pencils and definitely some nice erasers, a beige gum or white plastic eraser or a kneaded eraser. Get a variety. You're going to be erasing like crazy. Two fine and two extra fine micron or similar black markers. These are really fine point black markers, kind of like Sharpies, but so extra fine point. Um, there should be a few dollars each. You could also buy a pack. These are gonna be from an art supply store, maybe also an office supply store. Inexpensive paper scissors, just whatever you've got lying around. Um, and then a set of watercolor or gouache paints. I strongly suggest uh, gouache paints. I go over this in the video. They're going to be much more opaque. They're gonna give you much better results and it doesn't have to be expensive. I got these at an art supply store for about $10. Surely you can look online and find the same thing, preferably in tubes. It's gonna be so much easier for you. One pack of multi-size paint brushes. Um, or you can buy them individually, but you can get a multi-pack and it just makes your life easy. But you're going to want a variety of different tip paint brushes, really fine tips to get the details and maybe a little larger to get some bigger areas. It doesn't have to be expensive. Again, this you could probably get from Walmart or a craft store. A paint palette, that's what you're going to mix the paint on. A palette knife is suggested, that's what you use to mix the paint. And then the other thing we're going to do aside from painting is use markers and you are going to have to get Prismacolor markers. No other brand will be acceptable. No other brand will do. Honestly, there are some other very high-end art markers that you could get, but they're going to be around the same price and sometimes you can get, you know, a better deal on Prismacolors anyway and this is just going to be a good industry standard for you. Regular markers are not going to cut it. It's going to look terrible. I promise you, I know what I'm doing. Um, you can get a set of 24, a set of 12 would even potentially do. You want to have a good amount of colors. You could buy them individually. Um, they're a few dollars each from an art supply store, sometimes as much as like two to six dollars each, depending on where you can get them. Amazon has a pack of 12 right now for about $20. Um, if you buy individuals, um, or even if you buy a set, you're going to want to also make sure you've got some neutrals in there so you can get some skin tones. That's the problem with buying a set. You're going to get, you know, all the colors, but you might not have a lot of skin tones or neutrals. So maybe pick up one or two of those. And I suggest that you buy a number 112 cool gray. It's going to be used like shading. So it's going to be a super important marker to have. That's one that it's worth paying a few dollars, even up to six dollars, to have that one individual marker, you're going to use it constantly. 
and then also a colorless blender or mixer marker also going to be a few dollars but it's going to help you to mix the colors together this is a link to Amazon selling a 12 pack of Prismacolor markers for uh, $23 and then it you know gets to you um, in like a few days so that's a really good way to go this is the cheapest price I found but you might look around um, this is Dick Blick uh, which is an art supply store and here's that colorless blender marker I was telling you about for four dollars you can also get lots of your art supplies from them um, helpful supplies and technology are going to be that you have a home printer or scanner that's going to make your life easy I understand if you know if you don't have one if you don't have access but honestly a inexpensive printer with a scanner is like 30 to 50 dollars so might be worth picking one up especially with that stipend money uh, that you guys have to buy computer accessories this might really make your life so much easier so that you can scan your artwork easily and you can print things off that I may send you so that you can trace them or use them as reference a digital drawing tablet is also something that I highly suggest. You can get these for $50 to $70, sometimes including drawing software. This just allows you to draw on a digital plate and it transfers directly onto your computer. Um, just again, makes a really fast transfer of your hand going into a digital format, which is what we're going to have to do when we submit all of our work. So I definitely suggest that maybe again as an accessory through your computer stipend if you can get a digital drawing tablet. They're really cool. I think you would really like the way it feels. And then um, something like Adobe Creative Suite that gives you Photoshop or Illustrator. If you have access to something like that, it's just going to be super helpful. I can help you to use it and walk you through it if you don't already know. This is a link to the Wacom uh, drawing tablet that I was mentioning. Um, Wacom is going to be an amazing brand. In fact, they're kind of synonymous with tablets. I often just say a Wacom tablet. Um, they're the ones that sort of, uh, you know, kind of lead that industry. And as you can see, she's drawing onto a surface with a stylus and it's going right into her computer. This is nice because it actually comes with three different types of software that you can use. You would be surprised how quickly you can do drawing projects um, when you're using uh, digital software to do it. It's just so much faster and easier. So you might really love it. It might totally be worth it. And you can find knockoffs for even cheaper than this. Uh, the required textbook is going to be this fashion sketchbook by Bina Abling. Um, the sixth edition uh, we used last year, the seventh edition is out now. I think the seventh edition is now much cheaper. You can get this for about $60 on Amazon. Um, the student bookstore should have it too, but I think it's more from them. So I suggest buying it wherever you can get it the cheapest. And the sixth edition, maybe because that was the older edition, is actually more expensive because it's harder to find. Uh, but see what you can find. You definitely need this. It is an absolutely essential resource. Again, the seventh edition is around $60. When you're done with it, you would have no problem turning around and reselling it. This is a hot book. Everybody wants it. I definitely see prices much higher than 60, so you could resell it. I also suggest the book Nine Heads that I show you in the video tutorial it's just nice to have a lot of fashion sketchbook references when you're first learning again you can sell them when you're done sources the VCU student bookstore may have some office supplies locally in Petersburg Joiner paint and frame on Washington Street has our office um, not office supplies sorry art supplies and you could also Google art supply store in your local area and see where art supplies show up uh, Michaels has art supplies, Dick Blick is an online resource for art supplies, and obviously Amazon has great supplies for very inexpensive. You're going to need a computer with internet access, um, a computer, audio, and webcam are preferred but not required. Live sessions are going to be held via Zoom and the links will be posted. Um, you could also connect to Zoom via your phone audio. Google Drive will be used to share files, Pinterest may be used to curate images, and Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Publisher, Canva, or some kind of similar software is what you're going to have to use to create your graphics-based documents. The Student Technology Help Desk information is listed here, and you could always contact them if you're having any technological issues that they could walk you through.